Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this is going to be part 2 of my Amiibo restock. Basically, the whole point of this one is, on part 1, basically, I gave my just original thoughts of restocking certain Amiibo, and of course, if you didn't hear, it started, it started last week, Best Buy's already were the first one that they're doing pre-orders for restock amiibo and one of them is Lucina is going to be a restock exclusive so if you have not gotten the Lucina yet here's your chance go Mario they didn't say it's a best way exclusive you probably could get anywhere else hopefully Amazon will also have them and if you're a prime member 20% off I'm still kind of disappointed that Kali and Mario didn't get a 20% off uh, I'm probably going to give my explanation that when it when the time comes during this video so with that it's probably going to be long because what I'm going to do is ever since November 21st 2014 that's when Amiibo started so I'm going to tell you which one my guess are going to have a restock how rare they are and if it's easy to get them or not so of course with that let's get started of course November 21st 2014 that's when Super Smash Brother came out and of course the first game that will support Amiibo using a Smash Brother figurine or Amiibo creates you a f like a friend player and the more you use them fight them against them or team up against them the more you use them you get they give you gift and sometimes gift is hard to get such as new cause let's see new moves for your character trophies power-ups and sometimes money, because sometimes you're going to need money if you're going to buy some trophies. So, anyway, so the first one is, of course, you see here, Mario. No question, he's a big name. When it first came out, they had a lot of Mario. I think it didn't even, it lasted, I think, five months or so. Like, even 2015, you can see a Mario ever. Now, you don't. So, the question is, for that one, well... Is he, gonna, is he rare? Well, as of right now, yes, he's rare because when it first came out, he was common. He was one of the big common one. That you, no matter where you go, you see Mario here. You see Mario and Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, GameStop. You name it, Mario was the big thing. And remember, in America, he was number three. He was number three. Or number two, I'm not gonna remember. I think it was number three on the top three most sold amiibo. And guess what? What was my first amiibo when I basically started collecting them? Sadly enough, Mario. I wanted Villager, but nope, I ended up getting Mario. So as of right now, he's very, very rare. He's very, very rare. The reason being is his Super Super Mario Brothers line is well you can still buy them but if you're lucky enough but he also can have a restock and I'll explain it later when when basically I talk about the other his other variant the Super Mario Brothers Mario alright so, so moving there Donkey Kong another one that's come in I think it was for four months you could probably easily buy him now he's rare you can only buy them for third party if you're and of course if you're lucky GameStop have them used and the chances of this guy gonna get restock very very low why because November of 2016 wave 2 of the Super Mario <coughs> excuse me line Donkey Kong is one of them because remember in Mario Party 10 there was a basically shown that Donkey Kong there was a Super Mario Brothers Donkey Kong version and now this November you can now get him so yeah him getting restock very very low alright next one is Fox he's a common I said right now he's now common before that believe it or not he was common for a while until I think somewhere January and February he started to have a low like a low availability but of course uh, in April of 2016 when Star Fox Zero came out Yep, they produce a lot of Fox and Falcon. 
So as of right now, he's very common. You probably, if you're lucky, I think the only place I see him is Best Buy and Toys R Us. Not so much in Target and Walmart, but they are starting to not stock him. But he's still common. It's easy to get. And again, there's also Amazon. You might get him lucky. So from there, moving on, Kirby. Yep, he was another popular one. You can get him easily. He lasted like four or five months. Then they stopped producing him because the demands already been met. And then you say, well, I, I wanted Kirby, but I wanted to be cheap. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to see this guy restock since there's the Kirby line that came out in June of 2016. And sadly enough, Kirby, some of the Kirby line, basically within two to three months, they went, they had a price drop to some extent, a temporary price drop. And at Target, I actually saw Kirby for four bucks. So there's something wrong there with Kirby. I guess he preferred uh, Smash Brothers Kirby. And then his Kirby, actual Kirby version that he rides on a star, I don't know why. I think that's much better in my opinion. But I guess maybe nobody like Kirby so much. So unfortunately, you're not going to see the guy's restock. That's why never been announced. Because his other version is still out and you can still buy them. Amazon, the price is fluctuating in some places. If you're lucky not well, you're not even going to be lucky. If you go places, you can find them easily. But finding him in a clearance aisle, Walmart and Target, I think I heard I got in the Target. Then, yeah, I wish you good luck. All right, so the next one is, let's go, Link. Yeah, believe it or not, as of right now, he is still coming. You can buy him on Amazon, you can buy him in any retail. I saw him at Best Buy. He's even at Toys R Us. So, yeah, he's he's one of the Amiibo that you call it a green, evergreen strategy Amiibo. So, if you don't know what that means, is Amiibo that just like video game, even so it's like two or three years old, they won't go down in price because, in their opinion, it devalues the game. Like, in my opinion, I think that's poppycock. That's bull crap there, but again, as of right now, you can get a link still. So I don't think you don't even need a restock, and sadly, it's still 13 bucks. So the next one is smart. So if you know the history, he's one of the the 23 uh, amiibo. They call it the amiibo 23, and what it is is three amiibo that was so rare because what happened was when they first released the amiibo line Nintendo were not transparent and they failed to mention oh yeah certain amiibo will have a low restock or to non restock so basically what it means is that and the 320 if you ever wonder was Mart, Villager and Leaf Trainer and guess what they even said that hey you know if the stock is gone the stock is gone we don't know if we're gonna do a restock so a lot of people said oh my gosh already Amiibo's not even a year old, and already they're doing this. And the backstory, really, what happened was, is that Amiibo, uh, not Amiibo, the Lady Wada was sort of pessimistic. He was very cautious. He was afraid, what if it doesn't sell, and we produce a lot of this? So they were trying to get, like, information. Our gamer basically said it. But at the cost, so people are basically frustrated. They're getting upset. Yeah, 2015 was a pinnacle of Amiibo, but at the same time, there were a lot of fans who got into Amiibo that were very frustrated. So, yeah, it was very, very in the beginning. But as of right now, guess what? Very common. Ever since October 2015, when they got their... That was actually the first batch of restock. He was one of them. There you go. Mart. And as of right now, I think Best Buy, if you go to the online store, you can get a Mart. Uh, from what I heard, Amazon, you also can get them. I mean, you don't see them in stores, but you can get them online, and yeah, March one of the common ones. So when, and I'm gonna explain that later on, once I reach to the other two Trinity Amiibo because it's funny. But the bottom line is, yeah, March now is common. You can order them at Best Buy, 50, uh, 14 bucks. So the next one is Peach, and I know what that's common because remember the Super Mario lines are common along with the Zelda line, and I'll explain it later. So Peach was very common, last long. 
now you don't find them because again <laughs> there's another peach that did come and guess what that peach for the Super Mario Brothers line is gonna have a restock so again this one low rest you're not gonna there's zero chance of a restock oh and then the next one is Pikachu Pokemon's a very popular worldwide so he actually did last one of the longest one and not only that Starting February of 2016, when Pokemon Company were celebrating their 20th anniversary of Pokemon, it debuted in 1996, now 20, 2016, that's the 20 year anniversary, and Pikachu, as of right now, is very common, they had to restock this guy, so, you got nothing to worry about Pikachu, you can get him anywhere. Almost. Not so much in Target or Walmart, but Toys R Us or Best Buy. You probably, even online, you probably can get a Pikachu. But then, I think everybody already got a Pikachu, so nothing to worry about. Alright, so the next one is Samus. Okay, yes, another one. I think lasted only four months from what I remembered. And then it disappeared. Never had a restock until October 2016. Yes, he's she's one of the restock of Amiibo that's gonna be like Best Buy basically announced. She is gonna get a second, well, first restock. So again, if you didn't get the me uh, Samus in the beginning because you were hoping to have a price drop, sadly it won't. This restock is not gonna do the same thing. So with that, yes. She is making comebacks, so if you miss um, Samus and you really want a Samus Amiibo, here we go. Maybe it'll be a better design than the first initial one, because believe it or not, some of the Amiibo did have a redesign. The first, the first edition Mart really had a, sadly to say, a horrible face, so the restock actually had a better face. Yeah, I mean, what happened basically in the beginning was... Nintendo really didn't know how to deal with the toy business to some extent, so that's why a lot of them were like horrible. So they finally fixed the problem, and there you go. Oh yes, Villager, the second of the Trinity Amiibo in 2015. And I did tell the story before. I'm gonna tell again. At one point at Target, when it first came out, I had, I was decided to buy a Villager because first I was to best buy and buy a Villager there. I didn't see any. I guess a lot of people bought it. Like, what the hey? Went to Target. I was holding one. But they said, you know what? I want to save money because maybe they'll have a restock. And then, of course, you know the story. It didn't. Made me sad for a while. Until November of 2015. When Amiibo, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival come, came. Yeah, came. Villager actually had a restock. And not only just had a restock. He had a massive restock that, as of right now, is still coming. You can go to any Toys R Us, you're going to see a lot of Villager. Yes, because as of right now also, Villager is a Toys R Us restock exclusive. So if you did a Villager, as of right now, you're not getting one, I don't know why. He's not going to have a, he's not gonna have a sale any moment, not anytime soon. I, every time I go to a Toys R Us, Villager was there. Another Toys R Us, Villager. No matter which Toys R Us I go to, Villager, Villager, Villager. So, the bottom I'm saying is, it's now common. He was one of the rare one that people, it was, the price was in third party. They were selling it for 50 bucks. Now, 14 bucks. Very common. And then the third one is the Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah. I bought this at lunch after a while because of the back wall. I would manage to just grab it and find out. Just grab this Wii Fit Trainer and I did. They he, Wii Fit Trainer actually did have a restock, like a stealth restock, but it was still low from what I heard. Like some people did report that they were managed to get one at Toys R Us at one point, but as of right now, sadly to say, out of the three Trinity, Wii Fit Trainer is very rare. Yeah, she didn't really last long, and it had a stealth restock, but I heard news that the CSPIA did approve with a trainer, so maybe in the long run, they will probably have a restock on with a trainer, so that's all I know, so as of right now, is she rare? Definitely, can you get one easily? Definitely not, but the CSPIA did say yes, 
she is they made an approval so chances are she probably will get a restock we'll just have to wait and see all right so the next one is Yoshi sort of coming within again four months because that's almost I remember and then after a while if you're lucky enough you can probably still get a Yoshi but here's the thing the reason why you're not gonna see a Smash Brother Yoshi is there's gonna be a restock on Yoshi so I'm gonna explain that later once I talk about the Super Mario Brothers line but if you want to smash better Yoshi you're out of luck you're not gonna find anyone Amazon probably third party so because again the Super Mario Brothers line they're having a restock to basically go with wave 2 alright so the next one is Captain Falcon yes he did have a restock a first well a restock right now at a lot of stores but I think Best Buy I managed to get Captain Falcon believe it or not like December 2014 at GameStop they had one I was able to manage to pure, or get one via the online how to pay shipping handling but you know my rule of thumb is for f- yeah, 12.99 plus shipping handling I'll cut my loss with that five bucks. Probably I could have used this five bucks for burritos, but you know, it is what it is. Managed to get one. October 2015, they did have a restock. But as of right now, I think they have low stock. But I have heard reports that Toys R Us, you probably could get Toys R Us. Maybe. As of right now, I have not seen a Captain Falcon in so The last time I saw Captain Falcon was October 20, 2015. Didn't really last long, but yeah. So the next one is Diddy Kong. Again, if you heard, he's going to be in the second wave of Super Mario Brothers line. Very sort of common again, the four month thing. But right now, he's really rare. Like that version is rare. But if you just need a Diddy Kong to play Smash Brother, your Super Mario Brothers line is probably going to be your best bet. So again, same deal. Here's the thing, anything that's Super Mario Brothers, chances are it's going to be a Super Mario Brothers line. Just saying, unfortunately. So, the next one is Lil Mac, same goes with Captain Falcon. Had a restock October 2015, I did see some of them. And the same goes with Mart. And a lot of those, Mart, Captain Falcon, Lil Mac, and to some extent Greninja and Lucario. But I'll explain that later about Lucario and, Luc- and Greninja. Uh, they had a restock. It was a decent restock. It lasted only, I think, a month because what happened was I came there like two weeks later and be- the best, my local best buy did have some of them still. So they did. You can, I mean, you can still get some of them if you're lucky, but well, at a time. But now, for Little Mac, from what I heard, Toys R Us, you can, I think they got a restock, but you can only get it online, so. There you go. Just order them all, and if you want a little Mac, same thing with Captain Falcon. Managed to get, well, believe it or not, I managed to get it at GameStop. Of course, shipping handling. So there goes my other five. So ten dollars already. Man, I could use that for burritos and tacos. Yep, burritos and tacos. So the next one is Luigi. Same thing with Diddy Kong, Yoshi, Mario, Peach. Again, if there's a Super Mario Brothers line. You're probably going to be stuck with that for a while. So, moving on. Pit. Yes. He actually did... He did only last, sadly enough... Well, not even like a month. Because he's another one that I got. GameStop. So, $15 already in GameStop shipping handling. Made me sad. Now, $15 worth of tacos and burritos. You know, down my shipping handling. Again, you know, hey. You know, it is what it is, like I said. But... Yes, he did have a stealth restock at one point at Toys R Us, but it was very low. But the CSPIA did announce that, yes, Pitt had an approval. So you might get a restock on Pitt. Who knows? I don't know when. We'll just have to wait and see when. But he did have a approval from the CSPIA. So there you go. So the next one is Zelda. Here again three main franchises. Zelda, Mario, and Pokemon 
are very popular in America, so chances are them now getting resacked right now is going to be very, very low.